Hello everyone, welcome to another video. My name is Mario and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can easily get anamorphic lens flares on the cheap using this. And it's just like that. So it looks just like that, but for this talking head portion of the video, I'm actually going to take it off because I realized that it can be quite distracting to have a line just cut across my head. I'll show you some more footage later on so you can take a look what this filter looks like with footage in the field. So you've probably seen these cinematic lens flares in movies quite often that cut through the frame and they look really cool. This is often a result of using what we call an anamorphic lens and there are a few characteristics that come with that. But before we continue, if you're new here, please hit that subscribe button. Your support will be greatly appreciated and create similar content on filmmaking, product videos, behind the scenes and all of that fun stuff. If you're already subscribed, thank you so much for being here. One of the characteristics of an anamorphic lens is that it gives you a really wide image. So when you're capturing the image on the anamorphic lens, you actually get a squeezed image and you get to de-squeeze it or stretch it back out later in post. And that gives you a really wide cinematic image. A lot of people like this look and sometimes to emulate it, you get to put black bars at the top and at the bottom of your video to give you a quote unquote wide look. Another characteristic of an anamorphic lens is that it gives you really cool oval bokeh as opposed to circular bokeh okay on a regular lens. The other characteristic is the popular anamorphic lens flares that you just saw. So these lenses can be found in big budget productions and Hollywood movies because they're quite expensive. Some of them can go upwards of $10,000. Recently though, there have been a few budget options like the Serial line that are pretty cool and pretty budget friendly. But if you're looking to get anamorphic lens flares on the cheap and you don't care about squeezing your image or getting that super wide look or the oval bokeh, then one of these filters might be an option for you. A little disclaimer is that this video is not sponsored by anybody. I simply went ahead and purchased these filters on my own because I found them very interesting. So Prism Lens FX has these filters called the Flare FX filters. They come in blue and orange. And at the time of the making of this video, they also have a limited edition of an orange one and a red one. These filters come at a filter thread size of 77 and 82 millimeters. The 77 millimeter one is going to run you about $69. And the 82 millimeter is going to run you a little bit more expensive, about $79. If you're in Canada though, or somewhere else outside of the US, be prepared to fork out a little bit more in shipping, unfortunately. In this video, I'm only going to show you the blue one because I only bought that one. One thing to keep in mind about these filters is that you're not going to get that wide anamorphic image and you're not going to get that oval bokeh. So the filter comes in a small soft pouch and not in a hard case unlike other filters. The blue flare effects filter creates the classic anamorphic style lens flare that you are accustomed to seeing. The rainbow flare effects filter creates a multicolored anamorphic style flare effect that changes color depending on the light that hits the filter. I don't have this one, so I won't be able to show you guys, but I can see this one being very useful for music videos or creative shoots. It's a screw on filter, which allows you to stack up filters. And this is useful if you have a smaller thread lens. So you can adapt this by using step up filters. For example, my 17 to 28 Tamron lens, which is a 67 millimeter thread, I get to use a couple of step up filters to step it up all the way to 77 mil. The first thing that you notice from this filter is that it has a lot of horizontal or vertical or straight lines depending on where you're turning it and this is what causes those lens flares on your image. These lines are actually on a rotating ring so meaning that you can rotate the filter once it's on your camera so you can get lens flares in different directions. And I find this very cool because you can use it in many creative purposes. So now let's take a look at what the lens flares look like at different focal lengths. One thing about this filter is that the lens flares are going to be blue. So even having my phone here, the flashlight in my phone turn facing this way, you can see a little bit of that flare. Can you? Yes. There's a little bit of that flare. One thing that I noticed about this filter is that when I put it against this tube light, because you can see the little LEDs, the little round LEDs on this tube light, you get lens flares all throughout here. So just something to keep in mind, if you are using these kind of lights on your videos, you're not going to get a single streak of light, you're going to get a bunch of them. 
And if you just want it one, then I'll suggest you use one round source of light, ideally, because this is going to give you that. I haven't tested this with other tube lights like the Pavo tubes or the Godox tubes, but just something to keep in mind. Here's a little bit more footage for you to take a look at of what this filter looks like out in the field. So I think that this filter has a very good creative use and can be very helpful for budget filmmakers or if you just wanted to get an anamorphic lens flare just for a couple shots, this would be a very good alternative to getting an anamorphic lens. Obviously, you're not going to get the entire anamorphic experience, just the flares, but if that's something that you wanted to play with, I think this is a very good option to get started with or just to play around with anamorphic flares. The only thing I wish was that instead of the pouch, you would get a hard case but just a minor thing. So that's it for today's video, guys. Let me know in the comments below if you like the anamorphic look. And make sure you hit that subscribe button to be in the know of future videos. And that is all for today, guys. Until next time.